Hello. Welcome. I am very excited today because I am sharing what I am considering a late birthday present to myself. <laughs> a few months late. Um, a coach bag. I am really excited to share with you the unboxing and pack my bag with me uh, to show what I would pack in it. Um, so I'm super excited. I will say did film the unboxing and then realized my audio didn't work. So I am basically unboxing it again with you, but he, this is the first time you're saying it. Um, so that's that was a little frustrating, but we are here and we are recouping. <laughs> so in my unboxing, uh, the bag is a little more undressed. Like it looks a little bit more ready to go because I technically unboxed it accidentally, but that's all okay. It's, you know, all for the vibes. We're here for the vibes. So, um, let's unbox my late birthday present for myself. <laughs> they, uh, do offer gift wrap with usually, I think, your coach purchase. If you didn't know, so I think online and in person, you can do gift wrap, and this is considered the gift wrap. So, get that gift wrapped for yourself, uh, because honestly, it's worth it. So, throw it in, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's an additional cost, uh, at least that's what the store assistant told me, so I could be wrong. Let's double check. <laughs> okay, so, as you can see, it comes in a nice black This is where I had taken the bag out and then realized my audio was not working. Uh, so it usually would come tied um, and there would be a little bit more wrapping once you see the bag, but I'm about to show it to you. I'm very excited. I love the drawstring bag. I think it's nice for like protection, like if you wanted to travel with it and you didn't want to like have it get messed up when you store it away, that kind of thing. All right. Okay. This is the bag. Here she is. It's a black, soft, tabby shoulder bag. And I am super excited. It's definitely a grown-up it's one of those bags that I feel will go great day to night and just go with absolutely anything because I love wearing black and I feel like this will go with pretty much everything. Um, it's a soft leather, which I really enjoy. They do have like a conditioner for their bags that 
they do it in their store for you but you can also buy the conditioner so I thought maybe someday I'll get that but uh, for now this is the bag it is double checking 450 dollars however they do offer sales and discounts throughout the year slash depending on the style I hear they also have bags at like TJ Maxx so it just depends on the styles they offer so you can get it for way cheaper um, depending on what you want to go for I did save the $50 so technically it was between like $400 and $450 because I uh, got $50 back which I will explain in a moment why <laughs> But it has the brass hardware and it comes with a short strap so this is not adjustable on the short strap that's what it looks like so I feel like that's pretty comfortable like height and it's not like too high up you know like when it's like right in your armpit like, I feel like my bags will tend to fall off if they're too tiny. So, I really like how, um, this is like a very medium but like, uh, appropriate sized bag for most occasions. So, again, brass hardware. You get a little, I don't know what to call this, like a dog tag. And you can get this, um, engraved, which I might do. I just was like in a position where I just wanted to get the bag and go uh, like I didn't have a lot of time so I did not opt for the engraving at the time but you, I think you can go back and get it if you wanted so I will maybe do that in the future but yeah, it just hangs off to the side very cute and I think it's also removable in case you don't want it on there um, the back just one zipper. Do we ever use these pockets? I don't know. <laughs> it's still got some wrapping on it. Um, but yeah, I am so excited. My big girl bag. <laughs> this is like luxury for me. Like, I don't know if I'll, when I'll ever buy a bag this expensive in like, I don't know how long. Um, it's just, you know, precious. I'm like scared to even wear it out. I I just want to like take care of it <laughs> but the point of buying it was to wear it so I'm gonna wear it so it does come with a longer strap it's got some wrapping on it still and this is so you can make it crossbody which kind of makes it more like a daytime bag which I absolutely will be probably doing and I just love that versatility aspect so um, yeah and it's adjustable as well so, oh, <laughs> packaging is like pulling off of it. I'm gonna set this to the side because for now, I'm gonna be using the short strap. Okay. So, I thought maybe we could do something fun, such as packing my new coach bag with me. Uh, what I would pack in here and just general first impressions of like what fits in here. Before I do that, I will briefly give the topsy-turvy <laughs> events that occurred trying to get this bag. So, uh, I originally bought this online as soon as it came back in stock on Coach, uh, Coach's website. I snagged it, but I was having trouble on the website, like I think it was getting frozen, like my internet was going out, or maybe a lot of people were trying to buy it. So I ended up buying it and I had to be really careful because I wanted the gold brass hardware and there's another style that is a pewter black hardware so it's like completely matte black like the C and the, the hardware I did not want that style, that just wasn't what I was looking for I wanted this one So I double triple checked that it was this style that I was getting ordered it online. It came in like within less than a week. Like it 
came in a couple days. It was actually the day before Valentine's Day. It came in the mail. I was so excited and it was not in any gift wrap. It was like wrapped in like a plastic bag but in like a box so it wasn't like fancy wrapping. It just wasn't the gift wrapping you just saw. So I got the bag, opened, or I got the box, I opened up the bag, and guess what was inside? The pewter black bag. Uh, so it was like completely black hardware. It was not this style that I ordered. And I checked my email confirmation, and it was this style. And I was just so disappointed. <laughs> because I was really hyped up to get this bag and then when it came in the mail and it was not the right bag and I had spent that much money much money on it I was like I'm kind of annoyed right now but I quickly calmed down and immediately you know decided okay I'm gonna mark this as a return I was gonna try and exchange it online but I figured you know what I'm just gonna go in the store the uh coach location near me was pretty close to where I am, so I decided to go after work the next day and try to get this resolved. And lo and behold, I walk into the coach store, and it was like pretty empty, you know, in the evening. Uh, and this lovely store assistant helped me. I was nervous that the store wouldn't have these, these in stock, like the style I wanted, so I was fully expecting just to get my money back and like hopefully buy it again in the future. Um, I was like setting myself up for that disappointment again, but thankfully they had some in the store. She immediately gave me, you know, she set me up with the right bag. She took the other bag. She gave me $50 back. So that's why I got $50 back on it. So basically giving me a discount for kind of the troubles that I went through. <laughs> She was like, I'm so sorry that this shouldn't have happened. And I'm like, it's okay. Like, I'm not, I don't think anyone was like trying to send me the wrong bag. I think it just happens. It's fine. I wasn't like devastated about it, <laughs> but she was very apologetic. So I, I thought that was sweet, but unnecessary. Um, but of course, um, she managed to get me up or she managed to get me set up with obviously the right bag and she even gift wrapped it. She's like, it's included. And so I don't know if that means it's in, it's usually included. I think she said it was usually included, but people forget to like add it. I don't know. Um, so yeah, she was very helpful. And honestly, I really enjoyed the store experience. So like, if you can go in the store and get it, I recommend it. Uh, because I feel like you then see the bag, you get to hold it in your hand and walk out the door with it. The online shopping, was very surprised that like such a big price tag item came in incorrectly <laughs> but I mean it's I just had a feeling I had a feeling that when I was ordering it I was like they're gonna send me the wrong style <laughs> like manifesting but in the wrong way and anyways so on Valentine's Day I got my bag um, I did purchase it for myself it's basically my belated it on Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, so maybe I'll call it my Valentine or my little love or something like that. Give it a little name like that. Um, so yeah, that is the story of how we met <laughs> or how I bought the bag. Um, okay, I will stop blabbering and start packing it with you. Okay, so in the bag we have a nice suede interior. Very soft. Very nice. So this is what the bag looks like on the inside and then there's like an interior like zipper pocket there. So I am going to go ahead and just start packing this bag right now. I have a bunch of like miscellaneous things here and basically it's like if I were to pack my bag for like a day or evening out um, this is what I would generally pack for the most part. So, and I'm going to try to do like as much as possible just to see how much we can like really fill up the bag. So, the first thing I'm going to add is my coach, um, 
um, slim card case wallet. I got this for Christmas. And it's like the first coach item I've ever gotten and I realized, okay, I like their stuff and I think I want the bag. And that's how this bag came to be. <laughs> so, um, this is what it looks like. You can kind of see um, and then I can like stick cash in there and coupons and stuff. It's definitely not like the thinnest wallet, but I like having a nice wallet like this. And then I will probably get like a slim card case in the future. But for now, I'm enjoying this. So in the bag it goes. Okay. Next, I'm going to add a compact mirror. This one has a flamingo on it, or flamingos. It's from the Flamingo Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. I love the theme of that hotel. It's so cute and it's literally flamingos and pink everywhere. Like, you have to go to the hotel just to like walk through it because it's so fun. <laughs> so I got this mirror. It's just like a, like a compact. good to have with, you know, making sure your makeup is in place and eyelashes aren't getting in your eyes and that kind of thing. So, yeah. I'm gonna add a tie to go stick. One of the essential things that I just always have with me. So if I can manage to stick it in my bag, I actually will. Because <laughs> it's very handy. Next, I'm gonna put in hand sanitizer, and this is not the cute aesthetic hand sanitizer. Okay, we're saving money in other places because we just bought a big bag. Okay, so I'm getting the Target 99 cents hand sanitizer. <laughs> Although the cute aesthetic hand sanitizers are adorable, so I get it, but this is the one I'm using right now. Um, I just don't know about anyone else, but I feel kind of like a germaphobe now after since the pandemic and even still people are just touching all the surfaces and I don't know I just feel like very hyper aware of touching surfaces other people touch now and so I just like to have this on hand so that goes in tissue literally never go anywhere without because I don't, I'm not like a big crier. It's just like, you know, like just keeping the nose in a good place. That's, I don't know. I feel like whenever it's not even spicy food, I will have cold food. I will have hot food. And suddenly my sinuses want to clear up in the middle of a meal. And I'm just, I don't know what it is, but, um, <laughs> is lip balm. I usually have like a basic lip balm, like Aquaphor lip repair. Um, the only thing with this is it, it doesn't have SPF and if you wear this in the sun, you will get a sunburn. So just as a reminder, SPF on your lips is also just as important. Um, but I'm in the winter time, I'm, I'm not really strict about that because I'm not really in the sun a lot, um, much like most of us. So, um, it just depends on where I'm at, but usually I just go with the non-SPF version, but they do have an SPF version, which is nice. So, I will throw this in here. And along the same vein of lip products, I usually bring whatever lip products I'm wearing for like a night out or for the day. Um, so... This is kind of the combo that I'm using right now. It's the NYX Lip Pencil in Natural. And then this is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Brown Sugar. So, these are, you know, a lip pencil. 
pencil and a lip balm is kind of my go-to's. Um, I kind of consider this like a lip gloss, so that kind of thing. So I'm gonna throw these in as well. We're doing good so far. Like everything, there's still so much room in here. So anyways, <laughs> continuing. The last kind of like essential item I would bring and the other items are more non-essential, but like I, I will see if they fit. Um, this is a bag holder for when you go out, let's say to a restaurant and they don't have anywhere for you to like put your bag, um, to hold your bag, you know, when you like sling it off the back of the chair, maybe for more luxurious bags. We don't want to do that for very, you know, obvious reasons, but, um, sometimes even like bar stools, like you don't have anywhere to put your bag. So I got this on Amazon and it's basically like grips on the table and then you loop your bag on to it so it just hangs under the table where you're sitting very comfortably so it's like this little grippy thing it kind of looks like a bracelet too like I guess you could wear it as a bracelet if you wanted but um, it's definitely like a metal ring um, it's kind of it's sort of the most aesthetically pleasing uh, bag holder I found at the time. I'm sure there's smaller ones you could find, so you know, it's really just to make sure it holds the weight. So, I'm gonna put this in because I, I would definitely bring this if I was bringing this back. So there's that. Okay. Now we're moving on to what I like to call the non-essential, but I would like to bring them in my bag so, the first thing is a pen. Um, pens, want to be careful bringing a pen in your bag. So, on the fence about this one, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. But, you could fit a pen. I think that for the purposes of this experiment, we can fit a pen in here. But, proceed with caution. Make sure your pens are not broken and ink gets everywhere. It's just something to think about. So, we're going to add a pen. some sunglasses. Um, these aren't the ones I'm like reaching for right now a lot, but they're just like your typical black sunglasses, um, like 90s style. And I just wanted to, for the purposes, again, of the experiment, <laughs> I wanted to show like, okay, if I wanted to bring sunglasses, how would that take up room? So we're going to stick these in here. Again, there's still a lot of room. If you have stuck around here for a while, um, or if you're new here, I would like to introduce my obsession with wipes. <laughs> this uh, is just such a great staple because unlike hand sanitizer, these wipes can act as like a very cleansing method for if your hands get sticky, you know, when you're like going to a restaurant or a bar and like for some reason you don't have any more napkins or at the movie theaters, you're eating popcorn and your hands are just kind of grimy. Um, this is just really nice to make your hands feel clean and disinfect. So I always have these with me. I also use these to clean my over the head ear uh, headphones. Um, so like sometimes makeup will transfer on the earpiece and I'll like use one of these to wipe it down and it's been keeping it pretty like makeup free for the most part so these are just great I love it usually I'll bring both hand sanitizer and the wipes if I'm really trying to uh, save space it depends on the bag but it could be I would just bring one essentially not both. But if I can't bring both, I will. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so we're going to stick that right there. We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. Okay. These are very non -es Well, one of them is technically could be essential. We'll get to that. So, 
the next item I am going to put in my bag is the Rare Beauty uh, Comfort Collection Hand Lotion. It's called the Fine Comfort Hydrating Hand Cream. Um, so you might have seen this already. But it's so cute. It's actually like much smaller than you expect it to be. Um, so I don't know if it's like worth the money in terms of like how much product you get. But so in order to get the product, you twist it. So you, you twist it like that. And then you can like squeeze. Such a cool innovation. It's definitely like slim, so I feel like it could fit in this bag really well. The smell of this lotion is amazing. Oh my god. It just smells so good, you guys. The smell. I just love it so much. It smells amazing. Like, I would want this on my body all day kind of thing. Okay. So gonna go ahead and throw it in the bag because after our hand sanitizer our hands are really dry so we're gonna need some hand lotion so I'm gonna throw it in okay last but not least in terms of maybe it might be essential lady stuff now different thing. <laughs> I just never really have loved tampons personally. Um, I have my reasons. So, no hate. I'm sure your tampon will absolutely fit in here. In fact, probably more than this pad. And this is the kind of pad I need. Okay, so <laughs> not those tiny little pocket square slash post looking pads. It's like a pad. Okay, so we're gonna stick it in here because we need to know if it's going to work for that time of the month, so. Okay, great. Put one in there. Now, if you're trying to bring, like, three, uh, that might be a little much. So, I would say maybe just one if you're going to have, like, a ton of stuff in here. And I totally forgot, but obviously we would bring our phones with us, so... Um, sometimes I have it outside of my bag a lot of the time, so it doesn't necessarily need to go in here, but I do want to put it in to see how it works. And I have, like, the iPhone 14. It's not the big, big one. I think, I think this is pretty big, so, you know, all the phones are just, like, really big these days. Okay. Everything is in there. There we are. Now let's close the back. It's kind of like a magnetic click, so that's nice because I feel like this C hardware is kind of like bulky and you like don't know where you're supposed to snap it, but it's a magnetic snap. Okay. All right, it's kind of weighty. It's pretty heavy. I mean, this is as much as I would probably stick in here at a given time. Like, it, I might stick you know, different things in there. Why do I keep saying stick? Like, why do I keep saying that? <laughs> I might put things in here that might be different than, you know, like I would swap different items, but I don't know. This is, it's girthy. It's got some girth. So, but we love it. We love it. <laughs> it feels comfortable. Ooh, that's what I wanted. It has like a comfortable length and sits really nicely. So, I might need to... My plant is just going crazy back there. I might need to test it with a jacket. The jacket test, um, I may not be able to do in this video with you, but I can give a post update later. But, like, you know when you have, like, a jacket on and then you want to put your purse? That might be more where the long strap comes into play, but I really love the short strap, so we'll see if that's even necessary, you know. So I love it. Now, we're not done yet because I have one more, just one, not two, 
one more surprise uh, that I have for this bag. So let's bring it on. Now, if you follow Coach, this is a particular item that sells out a lot of the time because a part of Coach and a lot of these types of bags are the charms that you can put on them. Now, you don't need to get coach charms. You could put any charms on these bags and make it more unique and your own. I just love the idea of being able to have a charm on this bag and like really make it your own. I will say, I was watching a TikTok of this charm going on this bag and I was sold. I was like, I need this combination immediately. That was months ago and now it's here and I'm so excited. So, they also gift wrapped, uh, well this I actually ordered online and it came in the mail like this. So, um, this was actually the online order that went well. <laughs> and this charm is sold by Coach, so I will open it up for us. And there's like a little card. There's like a little card. I I think it's the... Oh, it just says thank you for shopping. So, that's nice. <laughs> and it's wrapped. Okay. So it's like a little blanket. And it comes like this in a little drawstring bag. It's so cute. I love that. because I wanted to kind of like display so cute and depending on the color bag you get it could even look way more like contrasting as well um, I just love that it's so cute it's just and I love the fact that you could do it literally with any charm you don't have to do a coach charm um, so go ham with the charms <laughs> it does come with like another ring guessing to like put your keys on I might remove that we'll see just because I don't know if I'm I would put my keys on this um but yeah this is the bag she is so cute so gorgeous maybe I'll try to do it on the other side okay so this is what it looks like on the other side very cute I love it much has been for it. You best believe I'm happy. Um, no, yeah, I am super pleased with just how I was able to still get this bag despite going through some any, uh, issues the first time around. Um, so I will definitely be enjoying this bag thoroughly, um, and testing it out. So, so far, so good, and I'm excited to continue using it in my collection. Um, but yeah, this is my little Valentine, because I got it on Valentine's Day. And, um, or my little love, I don't know, love bug. All, all the names. <laughs> okay. Well, that is pretty much all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching and packing my bag, my new coach bag with me. Hopefully I have more coach products in the future, which might be 
in the very far future, but um, we'll see. <laughs> For now, I'm gonna really just enjoy this one, and I appreciate you uh, unboxing it with me and getting to share in this moment. So, yeah. I hope that you are well wherever you are, and I look forward to seeing you. <laughs>